Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, we're going to be doing a demonstration on the Dremel cutting guide here. Um, we're going to show how to install it, how to use it, all that good stuff. A couple things to keep in mind while you're using this is that the maximum cutting depth that you can use while you or get while using this guide is three quarters of an inch. Um, also, this guide is for use with select Dremel rotary tools. Um, refer to the cutting guide attachment installation instructions, which will list out all the specific tool models. One of them happens to be the 8220 cordless Dremel, uh, which I have right here. We're going to be using this with the Dremel 561 multi-purpose cutting bit. Um, and this is for use in wood and plastics and drywall fiberglass, vinyl or aluminum siding, acoustical tile, and laminates. And you can see from the up close look here, this kind of has like a spiral um, effect all the way around it. So um, a neat little bit here and we'll put it to the test and see how it works. So um, one of the next things that I want to talk about here is how to install the guide and how to install the bit. Um, so let's go ahead and take a better look at that now. All right, guys, so the cutting guide and the multi-purpose cutting bit do come with instructions here. Make sure to read through this completely and make sure that you understand it so you know how to use these uh, both safely and properly. Okay, guys, so before we install the cutting guide and the multi-purpose cutting bit, the first thing we want to do is make sure that if we have a cordless model to remove the battery. We want to make sure that we have no power to the Dremel tool. If you have a corded model, just make sure that it's unplugged from the wall and that the Dremel tool doesn't have any power. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this locking nut right here. And this just twists off the Dremel like so and then can pull straight off the tool. Um, the next part, before we put in the multi-purpose cutting bit, I'm actually going to read something out of the instructions here. When inserting the 561 bit into your rotary tool, it is very important that at least 1 16th of an inch and no more than 1 8th of an inch of smooth shank remains visible above the collet. Leaving too much shank out of the tool can cause the bit to spin unevenly and make the tool difficult to control. The guide has a zero depth marking on it. However, when inserted properly, the bit will stick out from the end of the guide by 1 16th of an inch to 1 8th of an inch. The depth can be adjusted from that point on a continuous slide up to 3 quarters of an inch. Okay, so now that we've read that, let's actually put that to use and see how that works. So we're going to twist this right off of the tool here. And then we're going to stick the 561 bit um, all the way down into the Dremel as far as it can go. And then we're just going to pull up until we can see like right there, 1 16th to 1 8th of an inch of smooth shank below the lowest point there, which is about right there. And then I can very carefully slip the black part back over here. And then we can tighten this down. And you know, you hold down the blue lock button here and you can tighten it down. And then we're gonna go ahead and tighten it down all the way by wrench. So I'll use the wrench that came with the Dremel tool and we'll get this one all the way tight there like so. Okay, and then once that's done, we can take the cutting guide, we can put it right over the top and then we can just twist this on until it's secured into place like so. Um, now if we loosen up this piece right here, we can slide this down to the zero depth marking there and we'll tighten this back up and we can take a look here at the, the end of the cutting guide and you can see that the tip of the uh, cutting bit is just barely sticking out from the guide. So that's exactly what the instructions told us um, and exactly what we wanted. So. Um, from here, you know, we can determine, you know, how deep of a cut we want, um, you know, all the way up to three quarters of an inch. 
um, which in our demonstration, we are going to be cutting at three quarters of an inch. Okay, now we have our bit and our cutting guide installed. We can go ahead and reinstall the battery here. And now our tool is ready to use. So let's go ahead and bring this over to our project and we'll talk a little bit more about um, you know, how we're going to cut and then we'll put it to use on the project itself. All right guys, so before we use the tool, we need to talk about safety. It's really important whenever you use tools to make sure that you do it the safe and the right way. Um, so you need to make sure that you're wearing a pair of safety goggles to protect your eyes from any dust or debris that may, uh, you know, get into the air while you're cutting. You need to make sure that you wear a good quality respirator um, or mask to protect your lungs. You know, whatever you're cutting is going to generate dust and debris into the air and you don't want to breathe that stuff in. You need to wear a pair of earplugs to protect your ears. This tool can get really loud and you don't want to damage your hearing. Um, make sure that you don't have any dangling clothes or long hair or long sleeves that could get caught up in the tool. Um, you know, that would not be a good thing and would be uh, very dangerous. And also make sure you always know where your hands are at. Um, it's important that you never put your hand in the path of the uh, cutting tool. Um, you can see here I have this project clamped down um, so I can have both of my hands on the Dremel while I'm cutting out that circle there. Okay, so now let's talk about the project. This is a three quarter inch scrap piece of MDF. Uh, I had it left over from one of my arcade projects. I've drawn a circle onto the end there that we're going to cut out with the um, cutting bit and cutting guide. And we're going to do this in a clockwise direction when we make the cut. Um, I wanna read something from the directions here. When using the number 561 multi-purpose cutting bit, start the bit into the material at a 45 degree angle and then slowly bring the bit and tool to a 90 degree angle to begin cutting. Keep in mind the sides of the bit are what actually do the cutting. Caution should be used when making overhead cuts so debris is not getting drawn into the tool. It does recommend uh, the tool speeds here for plastics, fiberglass, and laminates. 10 to 15,000 RPM, for wood, 20,000 to 35,000 RPM, and for drywall, vinyl, or aluminum siding and acoustical tile, 35,000 RPM. Okay, um, let's, now that we know how to use this tool, let's go ahead and put it to the test and see how difficult it is to cut this circle out. All right, guys, I got all my safety equipment on. I'm going to turn this all the way up uh, to 35,000 and we'll turn on the tool and go ahead and make this cut. We do have a window here that allows us to see what we're cutting. Okay guys, that was it. Um, you know, here are some things I noticed. The tool generated a ton of sawdust, which is expected, but you can see it's still all over the tool right now, even after I tried to clean it off a little bit. It was incredibly loud, even with the earplugs in. This thing was incredibly loud. Um, you know, when you're cutting, 
make sure to take your time and go slow. I, I started trying to push it a little bit on this corner here, and you can see that it got really jagged. Um, you know, so take your time and go slow on your project so you can get the best cut you can. This actually works out okay for me though, because in a future video, I'll demonstrate the sanding drum and sanding bands. And we'll go in there and smooth it all down. So um, hopefully you guys like this video. Um, I hope to have more Dremel videos in the future. So please like, subscribe, and comment. And I hope to see you guys back in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you have the time, check out these other great videos.